Looks pretty cool from up here, doesn't it? It looks kind of like um, low-income housing. <laughs> Uh, no it doesn't, it looks great. I don't know why I'm insulting my own house. We're gonna do a few things today. Look how bright it is in here, holy crap. How does that affect the door? That's weird. Anyway, look at it. I'd love to get rid of all the darkness though. You know, I should replace every single one of these blocks with actual full wood planks because uh, the light is just just popping right through them and I wish it was just pitch dark the thing is I don't know if mobs can actually spawn on these things so that's kind of the good thing too you can actually come into your house and not have to worry about mobs but man what a difference that makes whoo that's awesome okay let's do a few things today I want to work on the bat spawner or the bat the bat exhibit a little more I had sort of a little bit of an ex inspiration what's this your journey begins here Tale of Thomir. Thomir? 1. 387 by BTC. What the heck is this? Long ago, a prophecy was foretold that a brave and noble sheep <laughs> would rise to face terrible hardship, brutal conflict, meet a strange creature with magic its hand. What? 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 Long ago, a prophecy was foretold that a brave and noble sheep would rise to face terrible hardship, brutal conflict, meet a strange creature with magic in its hand with magic in its hand but but through all this persevere and in doing so find a new home for his people this is the tale of that sheep and his story begins now Thomir was born in ordinary circumstances nothing special about his family his home or his early life for his first years Thomir did as the other sheep would do eat grass walk around eat some east some more Eat some more. Such was the life of a normal everyday brown sheep. Oh boy, it's the brown sheep. Days would come and go. The routine repeated. Eat grass, walk around, eat more. Eat more grass. But for Thor Thomir, <laughs> it wasn't enough. Something dwelling deep in the spirit of this sheep. Something dwelled, sorry. Something dwelled deep in the spirit of this sheep. His heart yearned for more. I'm sort of scared what is going to be on the other side of this portal. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that is cool. That's kind of cool that he, like, made a story to go along with it. Now I sort of want to read this thing. Is this book two? Book two. Long ago... What? It's the same thing. Why does this one say... Tale of Thomir 1, Tale of Th Thomir 2. Maybe he just wants to make sure I, I saw it. Grassy, wood grass, spirit heart, sheep yearn for more. Yeah, I guess so. I was expecting sort of like a... A story that... Continued along. Oh my god, so many sheep! Is there... Is this another one here? This should be three. Yep, and it's the same story. No. Huh. I think you might have screwed up, BDC. It was decided by the elders to, that to survive the sheep must find a new home. But who would go? Sheep are not known for the bravery, and no one stepped forward. Looking around and still feeling the yearn for adventure, Thomir stepped forward. Bah, he said, which in sheep speak means, I will go out and will return when I have found us a new home. And so Thomir gathered what little supplies he had, bid farewell to his family, and began walking away from his family, away from his home. Thomir would be on his, on his own at the mercy of the cruel world. I really want to read the rest of this story, but I don't know. Oh, there's another one. Is there like one at each exhibit? Four. Thomir had been traveling for nearly two weeks. <laughs> this is the best the best um story to a prank ever. <laughs> oh my gosh, my my tree! Holy crap, okay, stuff has been happening. Thomir had been traveling for nearly two weeks. He saw many wonders and many dangers across the snow capped peaks and through the dense jungle. Strange creatures were everywhere, bony things and rotting things, creatures with many legs and eyes. Thomir scared but determined carried on. For he knew he was the only one who could save his people. Thomir came to a place where the ground was cracked and ruined. Even worse than his 
home, nothing to eat and everything around him dead or dying. He thought it might be the last day he had strength to travel. But then, when hope was nearly gone, he saw it. <laughs> this, this is the best <laughs> prank. How is this thing grown? Did somebody help me with this, or... Maybe, maybe something like Doc or something with the Thumecraft stuff? I don't know. Or Thomecraft, I don't know how you pronounce it. These guys are everywhere! Am I going the right way? Is there one in here? No. I think this is it. I hope this is book... Well, five, right? Yes, five. I'm so excited to read the rest of this story. Thomir <laughs> had nearly collapsed from exhaustion when he came upon a place of beauty and wonder, a marvelous land of strange and wondrous design. He found small animals that scurried around, birds that hovered in the sky, and other birds that waddled around. <laughs> so this is this is beautiful. Like every, each exhibit has a story. This is unbelievable. Thomir so believed that this was the place he had been search he had been searching for. But then, while trying to communicate with the strange waddle birds, another being came. This one walked on two legs but wore a strange metal on its body. Golem? Walked on two legs, but wore strange metal on its body? This can't be it, right? Five? This is six! Okay. Thomir had traveled back to his home, his place of birth, and told his fellow sheep of his adventure. He told them of the dangers and wonders, and most importantly, of the place that would be their salvation. They would prepare for the grand journey to their new home. Many days the sheep traveled. Thomir taught them how to survive, how to fight. He would bring them to his new land. Finally they arrived. The sheep had a new home. Thomir had saved them. The elders proclaimed, from here forth, he was no longer a common sheep. Thomir would be king. Is this supposed to be Thomir or Thomer? Thomer? It sounds like I'm saying it with a lisp. And then all of these brown sheep are his minions. <laughs> oh, oh man, is there, is there no? I think that's it. I think that was it. That was a great story. Most entertaining prank ever. BTC. This guy has some imagination on him. I tell you. If there's brown sheep, are you kidding me? He managed to get a brown sheep in here too? Two of them even! Now that's attention to detail. Wow! I'm really impressed. I don't want to throw these books away. I'm wondering if these were supposed to be one and two. I wonder if they're supposed to be the same or not. Long ago, prophecy was foretold. Meet a strange creature. Long, oh, whoa. During his middle years now, and nothing of any note had occurred to him. Wait a minute! Did I not open the right book, maybe? Is that what happened? So this is where that one was. Maybe I opened the wrong one? Maybe? I don't know. Tomir was entering his middle years now, and nothing of any note had occurred to him. There was one moment last summer when the odd pink creature that made snorting noises through its nose had lived nearby, but beyond that, nothing of consequence, until something had been happening. What? Until. Oh, okay. Until. Da, da, da. Something had been happening in recent years. There was very little grass to go around. It would be eaten, as always, but patches of ground would be eaten and not return. Something was wrong. The, cre the great cr grass... The great grass calamity was beginning. The elder sheep knew not what to do. As sheep, there are few options available. Some believed it would resolve itself and the grass would one day return. Others believed it was a sign of the end times. And then... Okay. Alright. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. So, basically, <laughs> Thomir was sent out to, to find a home for his sheepy friends. And uh, looks like this is the place they picked. <laughs> oh man, that was really cool. I was not expecting something like that. Of course, these sheep are all gonna have to be slaughtered. <laughs> but that's okay, I guess. Oh, this is okay. So maybe I read the wrong uh, book when I opened that chest there. Very cool, though. If I find any more books, I'll, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Uh, but I think I think we're good. I think that's the end of the story. And what a story! BTC, what a guy. Some imagination on that guy. Let me put these over here. 
I'll like put them in a bookshelf so I can read them when I want. <laughs> it's a great story. Would read again. A plus <laughs> plus. All right, let's get this uh, this little thing going here. I sort of had an idea of what I wanted to do uh, on the bat exhibit. Somebody mm. mentioned it on the Reddit, but uh, I'm not giving them credit because I had thought of this a long time ago. I just didn't tell anybody. It's the nature of doing LPs. You try to keep things secret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three. This is the middle. So basically, I thought instead of having like a walkway like we have in the bird exhibit, I wanted to have a uh, a drop down. Oh crap! Don't hit me, man. I'm your friend? Not really. I wanted to have sort of a drop down where uh, I'm just using that as a marker, where you would like a, there's like a little spiral staircase in the middle of this exhibit, and then you go down, and then there's gla like a glass circular area that you stand on, and then all the bats happen, all of them. Dude! Didn't even get close to you! Just wanna find the middle! I think that is the middle. One, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's one, two, three, boom, middle. Oh no, it's not the middle. This is the middle? This doesn't seem like the middle. This might be the middle. Let's check. Let's use our very finely honed perception skills. I guess that is the middle, isn't it? It doesn't seem like the middle, though. It seems like one block off. Let's try Let's count over here. No, no, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Three and three. Okay. All right, guy. We'll try not to disturb you as we work on this. Let me use, uh, let me use the Silk Touch Rock Cutter. Did I turn that spawner off? I did, right? As you can see, I've done nothing down here. This is going to take me so long, this exhibit. But uh, we'll move it along here today. So, let's see. I think 3x3 three three would be the correct width for this thing. Having made this decision, I'm not too sure what I'm going to have in the middle here. Or on top, I mean. on top In the middle on top. <laughs> Is that three by three? It is. And this is the middle? It is. Okay. So I guess we'll have a pole. A post of some sort. Uh, maybe out of iron? This is going to take a lot of iron, I think. I'm going to have to go caving. Hey, that's a reason to go caving, though. I need iron. Let me go grab some iron and get stuff ready. Oh, such a cool story. BTC. You, you, you and your imagination, guy. In keeping with the theme, I'm going to go ahead and use... Um, Iron blocks for all these things. Just like I, I think I just finished telling you guys that, but I'm about to tell you again because it's been a little while since I, I recorded. I was actually chatting with BTC on uh, Skype, and yeah, that's Thomir right there. That's his name. He officially has a name. The Quest Ram is Thomir. He saved his people, and now they're in a better place. <laughs> oh man, I still crack up. That was great. That was a very creative way to, to prank somebody. Mm. And yeah, I will get rid of these sheep. Uh, they're annoying. I'll definitely get rid of the sheep, but for now, we'll let them live life free and peaceful. And so this is what I had in mind. Let's get this out of the... Whoa, hello. Don't start shooting stuff, guy. So how hard is it going to be for me to, like... Okay, come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. Ah, dang it. How far down should we go? That looks like a pretty decent height. Maybe mm. one more. Okay, now I gotta get rid of this. It's gonna drive me crazy. No. Ah, okay, let's just stand on it. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, that might be too deep. I don't know. Too far down, I mean. Nah, that's decent. Now we need a glass bottom. Let's get a glass bottom going and then have some spiral stairs around, I guess. Mm. Never done spiral stairs using micro blocks. This could be. I think I have to use slabs though. This is gonna be interesting, mm. to say the least. Hmm. I wonder. Could I? Could I? Cut this in half here. Could I do something like this where I actually attach?
attach the stairs? I don't think I can. Because that's the middle of the block. Yeah, you can't. Dang, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I just need to think about what I'm doing here. <laughs> I gotta think about what I've done. Get some glass, I guess. You know what sucks? Texture packs. Or not texture packs. Texture packs don't suck. The texture of this glass. Texture glass is what I think I wanted to say. Um, that sucks. Man, all this white stuff. Can you just redo the textures, Mojang, please? Mojang? However you want to be called. I don't know what you want to be called. I gotta get rid of this now. How is that gonna go? That's gonna go pretty well, I think. As soon as I get my head up in, in this place. This is the general idea I had. Um, I think it's gonna be a good one. Oh, whoa, easy now, big guy. Hopefully, uh, people, when they visit the zoo, they don't have suicidal t mm. thoughts or tendencies and want to jump off into the pit of bats. Maybe they think they're Batman. Maybe they see Alfred down there. Mm. Maybe they want to jump off and greet him. Uh, hopefully, that's not the case. You know what I think, though? This might need to be... Whoa, that flew a long ways. This might need to be... One of these... I don't think... Yeah, I can. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's start uh, the steps, I guess. Uh, the steps are going to be really interesting. I might need to change that. In fact, let me... That's not the one. Let me change... Oh, crap. Now i got to go over here and replace it. Nope, nope. Nope. Uh, uh, yes. Got it. Nailed it. All right, let me figure out these steps. I think I'm going to have to use, like, dirt as, uh, mm. whoa, as, uh, <laughs> like a template and stuff. This guy's so mad at me, and he doesn't shut up. Dude, I'll build your place. Don't worry. For now, you've got a nice 3x3 three three square. Plenty of room for your mushroom-infested mm. butt. Mm. I think that shape will be kind of cool, right? I wish I could connect them somehow, though. That's what mm. sucks about this. Um... We'll figure something out when we're done. We'll play around with the micro blocks. I don't know. Maybe there's something I could do to make it look a little better. There's something else I'm worried about down here is like mobs, hostile mobs spawning. I don't want that to happen. So I'm considering covering the whole thing in micro blocks uh, of the same color so that you don't even notice there's micro blocks down there, but no hostile mobs will spawn. Is that crazy of me or, or do I just care that much? Maybe it's a little bit of both. Uh, we're almost done here. Might as well uh, mm. finish off. <laughs> uh, is it weird that my thoughts go to these places that they shouldn't go to? Okay, this has to be replaced, though, with one of these. So this is it. This is the place you come. I feel like I'm floating. I don't feel like I'm on... Well, I guess I am on the glass. Mm. Yeah, I'm on the glass. No. I don't know if I should replace, uh, I'm having, I'm having thoughts about this. I don't want this to be so different. I know I always say resist symmetry, but in this case, I want the symmetry. Is it wrong of me? What if I did this and then knocked out these and just had the center part here as iron? I think that might work a little better in my mind anyway. You shut up, cow. Or minnow shroom. Stupid name. You're stupid. Mm. We have something like that? You know what I could do, actually, that'll look good with the... Uh... Is maybe have a support beam every once in a while? Mm. No, because then... Nah, that won't look good either. Dang, Gina. No. All right, well, let's leave it like this for now. Ah, this is going to be weird. I have to think about what I'm going to do with the top here because my plans have changed, sort of. So maybe mm -hmm. have, like, an archway here. This is, like, the entrance to the zoo, too. So this is going to be one of the first exhibits you see. So maybe have an archway here where you walk through. I might just flatten this whole thing out. And have like a little glass dome with a few bats. Then if you want to see the real action, 
Oh, um, you gotta be kidding me. I feel like this is not centered. This is the center. Right here. This block that I am on. No, it is centered. Oh, it looks so weird. This guy is throwing me off. Okay. I don't know why I'm so angry at him. You were throwing me off, man. I still don't like this too much. Let me think. Oh, you know what? No, that won't work either, will it? No, because some of these are at the top half of the block and some of these are at the bottom half of the block. Dang it, micro blocks. Why? Will that work? Like, if I put it here, it still won't touch, though. And it'll look weird after with the seam. Never mind. We will figure that out. You know what I really want to try, though? I want to actually release all of these spawners. Or turn them all on in here and see what it's like. Uh, so I'm going to do that in just a second. I want to finish putting these uh, railings up, though. Let's get these down. Do that. Get those like so. Cut some more. Oh, not. Nah, you don't cut iron with dirt. You don't cut iron with dirt. It's like an old wives' tale. Son, when I grew up, there was no cutting iron with dirt. What is that, buddy? I clearly placed you in the correct position. What a jerk. I've got the spawners. Oh, let's cover up this hole here. I think I just heard a bat. There's... There's a bunch of bats down there. I didn't even turn a... Oh, you know what? That's that's a good point. I've got to actually get some levers so I could turn these things off <laughs> at some point. I do plan on hiding them too, but I don't think I'm going to hide them today just so that I know where they actually are. Let's get these in here. These blocks that I do not currently need. Uh, yeah, let's get those there. Do we have sticks? We have a couple sticks. I have a couple more sticks. Dude, you scared the crap out of me. How am I going to get rid of all these sheep, man? I just have to murder them all? That just seems so inhumane. What am I doing with wood? That's not what I wanted. Do I have no cobble? Oh, I'm checking the workbench if there's cobble. I have no cobble here. This is crazy. Get... Oh, gosh. Cobble, please. Simple request. From a simple man. Cobble. Levers for days. Um, you can have your cobble back. And your dirt, actually. Yeah. Okay, this is it. This is the moment. I think what I'm going to do is wire them all up. Because I'm assuming you can... I mean, if you can shut them off with levers, I'm, sh I'm assuming... I know nothing about spawners, so... I'm assuming you can shut them off with redstone... Uh, with a redstone signal. So I'm going to wire... Ouch! Damn it, man! So I'm going to wire them all up and um, and turn them all off and on uh, at once so uh, so that there's no, no craziness happening. Now let's put this one right here. Levers? Levers? Tier 5. Here they come. <laughs> okay, there's one in there, correct? Oh no, it's on the other end. Okay, so I'll put one here. This is not their final placement. I'm going to hide these eventually. This is a tier 4. Now let's leave the tier 4 for last. Let's just do tier 5s. There they go. <laughs> They're being born. Oh my god, that's a lot more than over here. Why is that? Is that because this one's buried? Right, let's not bury the next one. Where is the cave with the one that I already have? Oh wait, I think it is this cave. And I put I put dirt over it, right? Maybe? Maybe not. What the heck? Confusing the crap. There it is. Okay, and this one's off. So let's let's flick the switch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that looks pretty cool from underneath. Okay, so we have one there. One there, one in that cave. Let's put another one over here. Tier five. 
<laughs> a little lever just to control it. Oh man, this is really cool. And then I guess we have one, two, three, four. Right? Let's put the other one like right in the middle. <laughs> the sound is so annoying. <laughs> Do they still spawn with sunlight though? I can't really tell. I think I just saw one spawn. I think they do. Pretty sure they do. Let's get up here. What's it like to stand? Wow, that, that is pretty cool. Everywhere you go, you see bats. Let's have another one. Let's put another one down. <laughs> put another one down over here. I better remember where all these are. This is the tier four. Is this gonna work? Don't know what the difference is between tier four and five. I think it just spawns less. But this is pretty awesome. Look at all those bats. That is cool. Can't really see much damn railings in the way. How many ent entities? 85, 90, <sighs> numbers going up. Mm. It's very good. They don't they don't fly up much, do they? Mm. I would like them. What is this? Is that the ravine? Yeah. I'd like them to fly up a little more. They sort of stay on the same level. Maybe I'll have to hide them in the side walls or something. Or maybe hide at least a couple in the sidewalls just so that they they fly up. Wow, that guy came right in our face. Oh, not no, not like that. He he flew up right in our face. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, if I can get a bunch of them just hanging out like that. Okay, we should turn these off now. Let's turn these off. One. Count them. Two. Uh, this one I don't even know if you can turn off. Because it's a tier four. Let's just break this one. Three. Four. Whoo, look at all these bats. And then there should be one over there. Wait, see, did I turn that one off? You know what? Let's just collect them. Let's just collect them. Because uh, these are not their final placements anyway. Dude, get out. I want to hurt you. Do you really want to hurt bats? No. Do you really want to make them cry? No. Do you really want to hurt bats? No. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm so silly. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and there was six. So let's break this one too, because that's not going to be its final spot. So yeah, tell, tell, me, tell me guys. Tell me what you guys think about my idea. I might hide a couple in the walls and then have most of them hidden underneath the, the ground here somewhere. And look at all these bats. This is kind of cool. I love this sort of suspending. It looks really cool from this angle, actually. Sort of like a suspending mm. um, something with the spiral staircase out of iron. That's kind of cool. I have to dress it up a bit, though. I still obviously have to do a bunch more of these. Like this. You know what? Might as well make a couple of these while I'm at it. I don't feel bad for you. You're a jerk. Try to kill me multiple times. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Let's cut these like that. Make four of those. Why not? Problem with these. They're these are corner thingies, so they're harder to place. So you'd have to like place dirt and then get them on your bar, and then put them on the corner. Come on, you can do it. 
jetpack. Boom, there we go. So we'll do that. And then, of course, struggle with removing this block. And of course we'd have larger ones. Like so. And then even larger ones. I still want to make like a, a water reservoir above these things just so that it looks like uh, they're dripping down. Okay, yep, yeah, like that. So yeah, I got a ton of these to make still and, and, and place. Placement is going to be the worst part. Um, but yeah, that's the whole general idea I'm going for. Yep, got to do that. Dang, Gina. Very cool, though. Did they despawn, or are they just finding homes? Like, are they nesting? <laughs> that is really cool. I, I love that. I love the fact that they come all the way up here and just chill out on the underside of this of this smooth stone. That is awesome. That is something I was hoping would happen, but didn't think would. <laughs> That's cool. All right, you know what? I'm going to call it an episode because I don't really have anything else that I could do that would be uh, camera worthy right now. I'm still not sure how to handle the top part here, but I'll figure something out. And if you guys have any ideas, as usual, leave them in the comments um, because I will read them and I will love them. I promise. Probably going to get rid of all these now. Go check out BTC's channel, by the way. Uh, he puts out some good stuff. He also has a very vivid imagination. If you like watching my stuff, because I have an imagination. You should watch his stuff because he's, he has, as you can see, quite a vivid imagination as well. I just realized I'm about to use my first tool from the tool shed. And I left these lights on, man, the power bill. Just, what am I, made of money? Let's get that tool from the tool shed to break those, those chests. Oh, that is something I wanted to address. People saying that uh, I should turn the light on in here. People are saying that I should put uh, the tools in item frames. That'd be great if you can take them out of item frames without breaking the item frame every time. But that is not the case. This dog has been behaving great. He hasn't left his house. He must really love it here. Got water and food. This is going great. I feel like I've really built a home here. I've built a life for myself. I even have a job as a zookeeper, apparently. <laughs> I haven't, haven't made any money on it yet, but... We'll, we'll soon start making some, I don't know, diamonds or, or something. I would love to make... Whoa, did that go through the portal? Is that the noise I heard? Yep, I just picked something up. That's cool. I would love to make um the good stuff. What's it called? Not crack. Um... The stuff, this stuff. I can't believe I can't remember what it's called. The good stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the good stuff. Uh, yeah, I'd love to charge that, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, in the meantime, we're just going to have to take what we can get. Maybe we'll live off donations only. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, sorry it's been so long since another FTB episode, but yeah, just all kinds of stuff happened. UHC and the new uh, map I did with Pazanito. That is going to be a blast. Lots of crazy moments in that series. And how did that grow, huh? That was awesome. Thanks, Silverwood Tree, for growing. You made my day. Bye-bye, everybody. See you in the next episode. Broke that chest three times.